Hi and welcome to the first video of how to fly a quadcopter. In this video we're just going over basic hovering, but in later videos I'm actually going to be showing you how to do 3D flying. So before we get started there's a few things that you should and should not do. So you want to go to a park or somewhere with a big grassy field and open space. You want to fly in the morning when there's no wind and there's no sun to get in your face. You don't want to fly with any distractions, so like music or no texting and flying. And the last thing is, don't fly with any people, objects, or animals around you. So first we're going to check and see if all of our controls are working properly. So a lot of times when people are building their first quadcopter, they'll get about three inches off the ground and the whole thing will either flip over or start rotating uncontrollably. Most of the time it's because their gyros are reversed. If this is the case, then any correction it makes will actually be increasing the problem, causing it to flip over or keep rotating more and more and more. So basically what you want to do is just go up to about 10% throttle and then move all your controls around just to make sure everything is working. So now we're ready to slide around. So basically what we're going to do is just keep slowly increasing the throttle until we're about an inch off the ground and then just scoot around to kind of get a feel for how sensitive the controls are. If you feel like you're drifting way too fast, all you have to do is throttle down. It's a lot better than trying to correct and crashing. Also, if you end up landing extremely close to something, just pick the copter up and place it back where it was. Because most likely, if you weren't able to keep it away from whatever it is that you're flying into, you're not going to be able to get it back. So now we're ready to go a little bit higher. So again, we're just going to raise the throttle up until we get about 2 or 3 feet off the ground. And actually, once you get up there, it's easier to fly than on the ground because there's less turbulence. Okay, so now that you're actually able to hover around without drifting into anything, we can go ahead and start learning how to hop around. So basically we're just going to pick two targets, like this spot of oil, and then also over here, this tire mark. And we're just going to keep going back and forth and try to land on the target. Basically what this is doing is it's improving your maneuvering skills, and also your landing skills. Now we're going to learn orientation. To do this, first we're going to rotate the quad to the 10 o'clock position, and then we're just going to try to hover there for as long as we can. And then we're going to do the same thing for the 2 o'clock position. Now we can move all the way over to 9, and although it doesn't really seem like it, it's a lot harder than 10. And then we're also going to do the same thing, obviously, for 3. So now we're going to do what's called nose-in hovering. So we're going to pick the quad up and rotate it so that it's facing towards us. So now right will be left, and backwards will be forwards. So this is probably going to be extremely hard at first, but one way to think about it is it's kind of like balancing a stick. Whichever way the stick is falling, that's the direction that your hand needs to go in order to balance the stick correctly. And again, if you're drifting into something, just pick the copter up and put it back where it needs to go. So now it's time to go a little bit higher again, and just like before, once you get just three feet off the ground, everything becomes a lot easier. Now we're going to be hopping to different targets again. Now this is going to be extremely hard, and even people who aren't beginners are going to have a hard time doing this, so just take your time. So now you're almost there, 
really all you need to work on now is your sevens and then your fives and then everything else in between will pretty much just fill in. Flying a quadcopter is not easy, but as long as you practice on the maneuvers that you're not good at and you keep doing that every day, you'll be a lot better at flying in no time.